Bangalore, the sprawling metropolitan capital of Karnataka, the second fastest growing city in India. Bangalore generates 4,500 tons of garbage a day. It is disposed as landfills in the surrounding areas. This has become an issue as it is making the people around unhealthy. We talked to Professor Vishwanath Kadoor, a pioneer in terrace garden in the country. After completing his doctorate in entomology from the University of Bangalore, he was teaching there. Like that, I continued till um, 83. 83 is and I resigned after 16 years of service and went abroad. And 89 I came back, started my unit called as Vision Video Productions, where I used to make films for agriculture. And uh, during the time I read a book called as uh, Silent Spring from Rachel Carson. Then in 1965 itself, when so many other chemicals were not there, only hydrocarbons were there. Uh, that is the time she explained what happens to the mammals, what happens to the birds, what happens to the bird eggs. Definitely it has to happen to the human beings when they consume it. The first official incident in India happened in Kasargod, which shows the hydrocephalus increase of the head size. And all the children are handicapped, 100% handicapped in the five villages in and around Padre group, Padre village, where the Endosulfan well, is one of the chemicals which was used as an aerial spray where they contaminated the atmosphere, contaminated the soil, contaminated the subsoil water. So when a boy and girl of the five or six villages get married, the child invariably is a handicapped child. Then I thought I must not make any chemical films and other things and uh, we have already made the damage and that led me also to change over from 92 biofertilizer production. So during biofertilizer production I went to Delhi for a meeting. While coming back the flight didn't land in Bangalore. That's the time I started seeing the shining terraces. Because being born and brought up in Bangalore I knew the temperature was rising. Temperature never used to cross 30, 31, 32 maximum. If it crosses 31, we are sure that we are going to get the rain. Today it goes up to 37, there is no rain. And then I thought if you cool down the terrace, probably the temperature comes down. And uh, this is the only land which is available. And Bangalore got the name Garden City just because every house had a garden in the front and kitchen garden in the back. But the land value started increasing. Naturally, the greed of people started increasing. And they started building the entire site. So there was no space for ornamental garden or kitchen garden. What we thought that if we shift that habit of growing their own vegetables for Bangaloreans to from backyard, which is not there, to the top, the same amount or much more amount of space is available. When I discussed with my friends in the university, they said it's a good idea. So 93, 94, we were discussing. Uh, by finally 95 we did it and our, uh, Dr. Viresh was the Vice Chancellor and we all joined together and the first international conference was done in Bangalore. That generated the formation of an NGO that is Association for Promotion of Organic Farming and then 95 I formed this terrace gardening and uh, 95 itself I conducted a class in IAT and to my surprise the overwhelming response and then it encouraged and every three months we used to have it and afterwards we saw that nothing was getting converted into terrace gardens. By 10 years of my work hardly about 10 terrace gardeners were there for 10 years including mine. 2003, 4, 5, a lot of articles came in the media about the poison in the foot. There was a survey report also which showed that um, there is uh, so much of residue which is allowed in the foot by the FAO. 0.04 parts per million allowed. It used to be 300 or 900 or 1300 parts per million. The poison 
what the former uses is based on the body weight of the insects because whatever the little amount of poison after degradation and everything which goes into our body it gets accumulated in the fat body and when that reaches certain level based on our body weight then it starts showing the effect so it is it may take anywhere between 30 to 50 years definitely but when we get affected in 50 years we don't know that it is because of the poison if you want to grow a terrace garden you must first learn how to compost your kitchen waste and then do the rain water harvesting don't use kaveri water or potable water to grow your vegetables because rain water has more minerals than kaveri water and our aim is to see that no waste goes out of the house including the kitchen waste and the plant waste most important benefit of growing your own vegetables is you will not be eating poison and the next thing is working in the garden itself is an exercise when you do the exercise you are like watering weeding you get all the exercise in addition to it you get direct oxygen not the oxygen from the cylinder thing at also it cools your terrace and 1995 when it, when we started here and Cuba also started in 1995 today Cuba produces 85% of their food from cities to the entire country here i have not even changed 0.1% i mean it's okay there it's the government initiative he made a rule that every citizen must grow food on his terrace or the land and no government land must have lawns and trees there is a fruit trees and vegetables that's and he didn't lose even a single inch of sugar cane and tobacco which is the economy of their country i don't want you to believe me if you feel that what we are eating is bad if you feel that we are eating poison you do the study and then you change then only the change becomes permanent start growing it's not a rocket science plant grows themselves you take care of it that's it it's as simple as that only thing is you must have the mind and the heart to do it